Hello YouTube, how you doing? This is Cryptbeards Fortress 17 episode, I don't know. So, uh, should we get cracking? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so, excuse me. <laughs> what a cracking entrance to a video. Uh, let's unpause the action and let things carry on. We've put a farm down in the cavern layer now, so it probably makes sense to actually assign some crops. Let's make plump helmets. Um, <clears throat> that's in the spring. What do we do in the summer? I think we'll make... Let's try... Let's just do plump helmets year-round. It makes sense. Now that I know it doesn't actually do anything like depleting the soil or anything like that, it kind of makes sense just to make sure we've got a ready supply for brewing. Get us a bit of lovely food. We've been able to supply like proper food by trading. It's just the booze that's a bit of an issue. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Retrieve 100 bits. <laughs> Retrieval. Not done that for a while. And hello, Sabata 4. The meth pack. Uh, no, this is... Um, hang on. Let me just re refer to uh, Lazy Nude Pack Launcher and I'll be able to tell you exactly which tile pack this is. It's Phobus 16X. And uh, there's a little hint for you. I'm using the uh, Lazy Noob pack, so if you want to recreate any of my settings, you can check the Embark video out on YouTube and recreate the map. Not that anyone necessarily wants to do that, because, uh, you know, I don't know why you would. <laughs> Maybe you could just make a better fortress with the start and say, look, I managed to do this. How come you're so shit? Then again, maybe you could decide to do something else with your time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right, let's resume the action and uh, look away from the second cavern layer. I know immediately moving all of my my cattle and stuff down here and pl placing farms and making it our primary water source and fishing here is dangerous because obviously it's an open cavern. Anything could come wandering in from off map. But I think the advantages outweigh the problems. So let's head to our new new opening area for our fortress. We're not going to move anyone down here yet. We're going to get it all dug out and then we're going to start moving things in. And when I say we're going to get it all dug out, we're going to get the dining hall, the food area sorted. We're going to dig out uh, some decent bedrooms, enough for, if you'll just bear with me a second, I'm going to go to do a therapist and take a look at our current head count. Just doing a refresh. We've got 140 adults still. Oh, we appear to have lost a baby. Probably to a hungry vampire, I would imagine. But, you know, what are we going to do about that? We'll, we'll wall him up soon enough. Once those floodgates are all sorted, he'll be, log he'll be locked up for, well, as long as we need him, really. Uh, hello, Epic Man 12391 Hello to you again. Again? No, first time. I'm pretty sure it's the first time. Is the fort going well? Um, yeah, probably, sort of. I mean, we're not excelling at anything, but we are surviving, and I now do have a military in training. And of course we have our elite vampire squad as well, which only consists of one vampire at the moment, who isn't actually contained in his barracks and is running around, well, eating babies as far as I can tell. But, you know, we'll, we'll get it sorted, don't worry. Once, once the whole mechanism for locking him in there is managed... Here we go, here's the beautiful mechanism. Are they actually... have they linked up these floodgates yet? Come on! How long can they take? I mean, they've only got to walk all the way across the map. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, where were we? We were looking at the new area and checking out what we could do to increase... Well, to be honest, they've got enough on their plates to dig this out at the moment, so maybe we should just leave them. Let them get on with it. Let the smoothers do their work. They are taking an incredibly long time, though. Do we have any slackers? Not really. We've only got, like... Ten idlers at the moment. We have a petition. Are you coming to Smooth Stone? For the purpose of soldiering. Dacost Admirecraft. Okay, you can join. I don't really know what happens when you invite soldiers in. I've seen people come for the purpose of eradicating monsters and for the purpose of entertaining people. Evidence here. Our Oh, it's not as rampacked as it used to be. Why is that? What is this? Are they standing on a... Uh... He's standing on a special stage or something. Why are there shitloads of weapon racks in here? I'm not seeing them. Okay, maybe it's just a, something to indicate something else. It's not an actual weapon rack. We're missing a statue. Why is that? B.S. There we go. There we go, that's better. Good stuff. Got any advice to get candy fast? Mm, good. Actually, Osmosis, I see you saying enable mechanic for everybody. That is a good idea. I'll get back to your point in a moment, Sabato. Just a moment. Let's head over to the therapist. 
hello, uh, and sort that out. Just enable mechanics for everybody. It does make a lot of sense. Uh, mechanics, here we go. Uh, let's sort by nothing. Um, and then, can I just control A? Oh, yeah. And then we activate mechanics. Although we've probably just deactivated it from anybody who already had it activated. So, doesn't look like anyone's got substantial skill in it. This one has. Oh, look at that, level 12. I say. We'll keep you in the workshop. Hmm. Uh, anyone else got mechanics? No, that looks good. Let's commit those changes. While we're here, does anybody want a dwarf named after them? Because now is an appropriate time to mention that. Um, no requirements, just, just put your hand up in chat, metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, yeah, let's get candy fast. Yeah, dig down is correct, but uh, dig carefully and dig when you find your your uh, candy deposits. Dig all the way round it to get an idea of the size, and just try to avoid piercing through the entire. Always leave a membrane intact. And that's all I can say. That's my theory on on finding candy, which we will be doing later on. I have full intentions of exploiting any candy on this level, and uh, fingers crossed there will be a lot. Mm. Got a siege engineer spot open. Sabata, we can check that out. Let's have a look. Siege engineering. We haven't got anyone actually doing any active siege engineering, but we do have somebody who is quite adequate at it. Um, they're also a very good stone crafter. How do you feel about Rith Semorasob? Does this feel like a good dwarf to lend your name to? Does it? Hmm. 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 Uh, there is no semi-safe manner to get candy, Sabata. <laughs> it's always a risk. It's always a risk. You know what? I'm going to give this guy. I'm going to give this guy. As long as he ain't going to be bait. Well, not intentional bait. Accidental bait. Retconned bait, possibly. <laughs> he dies in an attack of some kind, and uh, that turns out to be the uh, fate of him. Or her. Is it her? Is it him? Sabata. Uh, do you want the four? I'll leave the four off for now, unless you tell me otherwise later on that it's important somehow in your nomenclature. Let's head away from the fortress uh, therapist now. Here we go, back over to the fortress. And unpause the game, because leaving it paused for too long, well, it just stops progress, doesn't it? I thought as much, Sabata. I thought as much. Okay, so <clears throat> what's going on now? Let's take another look at these levers. I know it's been paused. I, obviously, that means no progress has been made, but just, just, just to allay my panic, we can't even get our vampire up into his special seal barracks and, until we can open it up. We had it opened up, obviously, to rescue the dehydrated person trapped in there. <sighs> Actually, looking at this, currently the easiest targets for our vampire. Are any of the visiting bards staying in these bedrooms? Because they're right near the surface where he's supposed to be hanging around, so he's likely to be around there. And look, these are the only isolated bedrooms. So if we go down to the bedroom floor, we do have a few. We do have a lot, obviously, but they're actually further away from anywhere Clay Cree should be. I'm just going to pause briefly to check he's not loitering around, hanging around anywhere. No, he doesn't seem to be lurking around the bedroom, so we can be relatively confident. Relatively confident that people aren't going to suddenly be ripped apart or drained dry. Well, he doesn't rip people apart. I mean, why would he? That would make the blood go everywhere. And you don't want it going everywhere. Specifically, you want it going in your mouth. One of the trait, one of the hallmark traits of uh, vampirism. What are these? Dead sapling. Sure. Sure, it's a sapling. Why not? Oh, come on, mechanics. Everybody has mechanics available. Surely somebody can accept this job. You going to do it? You going to be good boys and girls? No, of course not. How's the progress coming out down here? Slowly. Very slowly. But we're doing okay. We're getting a little bit of ore. Sadly, it's not entirely marble, as I hoped. But what is this ore we're getting? Sphalerite. Hmm. Could be good. Sounds okay. I don't know what we get out of that. But, you know, it's an ore, so it can be processed. Speaking of which, are our... Or ore operators, our furnace operators, actually doing anything? No, they're not. Which, to me, means it's time, after we've done this petition, who wants to come here? Entertain citizens and visitors? Sure, Mincock Crystal Lake. Hopefully you're not actually related to the Jason Voorhees thing. 
but we'll see. Uh, right, I'm going to look at my furnace operators and I'm going to make them do nothing but furnace operating. So if you'll bear with me, quick pause, back over to the therapist. Hello. Uh, and we'll find our furnace operators. Here we go. We're not sorting by anything, so that's good. We've got three of the lads. Uh, uh, one of them's a stone detailer. Well, actually, we don't need you to be a furnace operator because we've only got two furnaces. So as long as everybody else is fully clued in on what they're supposed to be doing, it should be fine. It should be fine. Here we go. Let's take all this off. Take all this off. There we go. And our furnace operators should now do furnace operating night and day. Oh, one of them's our siege engineer as well. Oh, saboteur. Okay. Okay, well, you get to keep your siege operating activated when we finally move into the world of sieging. It's all good. Oh, you've also a very good stone crafter. Hmm. However, we do have a few good stone crafters. We don't even have all of our good stone crafters activated, so let's just take you off stone crafting. There we go. You're down in the furnaces now, creating ingots and melting stuff, I hope. At least that's the ideal outcome. 142 adults. Have some of our children matured? We do have a larger population of children now. Anyway, back to the fortress. Back to the fortress and unpause the game. Mm. Where was the drained baby found? I don't know. Let's have a little look at the reports. Is it in there? Is it in A? Mm. Z zoom. Oh, <laughs> in a regular bedroom. Okay, the vampire has been lurking around. I shouldn't say the vampire. Clay Cree has been lurking. Who the hell is this with the question mark next to him? Dusim Zephon Sanad, philosopher. Oh, okay. You can learn more about this visitor after they chat with a local. Well, fair enough. Presumably they're coming to see our library. That seems like the most sensible cause. So, says Sabata, ever made a weirbeast fortress? No, not properly. Uh, I've had fortresses fall to weirbeasts, but I've never actually made one where everyone is a weirbeast. Sounds like a cool idea. Also sounds harder than a vampire fortress. Oh, what's this? Kib, the gem cutter, has been possessed. Okay, let's follow our possessed gem cutter and see what beautiful delights await us. Hmm. Uh, Sverlite is zinc ore. You probably have a fair amount of zinc bars by now. Uh, placed the hole under the solid, I hope. Uh, not entirely sure what that's in reference to, Sabata, but uh, I'm sure you'll enlighten me. Uh, soldiering petitions are mercs. They can be enlisted to your military. Oh, I say. Well, in that case, maybe it's time to start our second vanilla military squad. Because we already have the primary squad training. We have the vampire squad training. And if we get ourselves... Come on, what are you going to get? He's going to go for the gem cutters workshop, right? Of course he is. Here he goes. He's claimed it. Uh, let's resume again. Pause. Got to follow him again. Otherwise, we won't get to. Gets one gemstone. Two gemstones. Ooh. What's he going to set them in? Ooh. What are you going to get? Come on. Get something spicy. Something exciting. Something exotic. He's going for bones. Almost guarantee it. Oh, hello. Where's he going now? Oh, no, yeah, he's got to go all the way up the stairs before he can come down into the main fortress. I forgot about that. Ah, <sighs> Come on, keep going, keep going. Get yourself down there. Past the graveyard, past the temples. Is he going to go past the library or has he already gone past the library? I forget where that is. Yeah, he's already gone past it. He's heading outside. Almost guarantee he's going for bones. Going for bones. Uh, the Magma Forge. Uh, yes, yes, there is a hole underneath where they can get to the magma. Yes, that's no problem. They're all functioning. This Magma Forge is fully operational. Oh, he's going up the mountain. What's he going up the mountain for? Hello. You're going for something a bit weird. Oh, no, no, he's just going, yep. <laughs> he's going exactly where I thought he was. To the dump to grab some bones. Come on, get back there as quick as you can. I need to know if you haven't got anything in your list. He must have, though. We have so much stuff in this fortress. There can't be a hope in hell that he hasn't got everything he needs. Oh, there goes Clay Cree. Stop. You vampiric bastard. You get back in your <laughs> bloody barracks now. 
Uh, let's check to see if the floodgates have been done. Yes, they are. Clay Creek is probably heading back to his barracks as we speak. Let's unpause it and go and watch him. Where is he? That's not him. There he is. Heading over to his barracks. Heading over to his barracks. He going over there, Clay Cree? He going over there? He is, isn't he? That's what he's doing. Hopefully he's not uh, suddenly taken with a thirst before he gets there. We should be okay, though. Come on. Get yourself over there. Move, move. You're distracting me from a mooded dwarf, you know. Come on, as soon as he's in there, get someone to pull the lever. Pull, 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 pull the lever! We only need one set of levers pulled once he's in as well. <laughs> Is this lever not connected to... What? Oh, no, that's the middle lot. Okay, yeah, fine, 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 fine. No need to worry. Here he comes, getting in there. No one's going to catch up with him once he's in there. So let's add a new task, pull the lever, and I want it done now. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't do it. That would be a pain in the ass. He's in. Okay, so hopefully he'll get locked in. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, there's a chance a miner will get locked in with him. Let's not let that happen. Let's not let that happen. Sorry, we'll deal with this another time. Maybe we'll just build that out here and have another lot of gates. That makes sense. Okay, back to the action. He's up there. Someone should be along to pull that lever with alacrity. And if they're not, I'm going to be somewhat upset. Um... Zinc jewellery. No, that does sound a bit lame, doesn't it? Uh, where are we? Where's the forges? Here we go. Is he doing his business or is he out and about? He's in there. Possessed by unknown force. Bones, leather, stone, wood. Wood's the bottleneck. We don't have any freaking wood knocking around. You can see our empty stockpile right here. So, let's just check what else he wants, make sure there's nothing else he wants. Um, stone, wood, leather, metal bars. Hmm. Do we have metal bars? We must have metal bars. We must. Let's go and have a quick look at the stockpile. Wood has to be the bottleneck. But let's take a quick check just in case. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go to the stock screen, don't I? Duh. Stock screen, stocks, uh, enhanced view, B-A-R, bars, aluminium bars, bronze bars, nickel bars, tin bars, and zinc bars. Look at this graph. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Terrible memeing. Okay, so there's definitely metal. It's just a wood situation. So let's get a couple of trees chopped down. Designate tree chopping. Um, ideally, we want to keep our nut trees. But, to be honest, these are close. This is an emergency. Let's just chop some trees down. Fuck it, as they say. No, as I say. There we go. Chop, chop. Get those trees knocked down, and we'll have our mooded dwarf launching himself out of there as quick as possible to get some wood, right? Keep watching him. Come on. Chop those trees down. Chop, chop, chop. Please chop those trees. Chop, chop. Chop, chop the trees, oh please. No, it doesn't look like they're going to do it. Hmm. Not for Steel Jones. Steel Jones? Who's Steel Jones? Da 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 da. Da da da. Clang. Da 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 da. Doesn't look like anyone's doing any of this smelting. I turned off all their other jobs, so. What the hell are they doing? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Not for steel, comma, Jones. Oh, you're Jones, of course. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Oh, and forgive me. My brain appears to be very, very poorly. Right, are you guys going to do anything? What's your job? You're going to go and pick something up from the... Oh, you're taking stuff out of the workshop and putting it in there, are you? Didn't realise there was stuff in there. Oh, I see. Some of the steel bars have been melted and they've been making it into uh, other stuff. Okay, so there are orders taking place. That's good. The steel is being cycled through the system, levelling up our actors. Actors? Dwarves. 
What is this? Some kind of theme park? This is a for real fortress. Oh, another petition. Uh, entertaining? Sure. Why not? Let's do that. So, what else have we got going on? Let's check the main... Ah, this is looking a lot better now. Yes, we can start moving some... No, no, let's not move tables in. Let's start smoothing first. Actually, let's wait until this has been smoothed. It's taking quite some time. How many smoothers have we got? Maybe we can uh, make things go faster if we put a few more in. We did get some migrants, didn't we? So maybe we've got some peasants that we can do. Right, let's pause the action quickly and get more smoothers. Get more smoothers on the job. Hello. Um, let's read the dwarves quickly, make sure we're getting a current overview of who's doing what. 143, we've got another adult. Interesting. Must be a child maturing or something, surely. Uh, let's sort by... Um, total skill levels yeah total skill levels so at least skilled are the kids can't make them do anything anyway uh so who's next so this guy here uh an adequate presser mm, i think you can have stone detailing activated what about you you're a blacksmith no you're keeping your profession uh you're a gelder yeah, not so much use for that. We actually want our animals breeding at the moment. We can always do with more. And, you know, it's more fun to eat them than to cut their nuts off, frankly. That's all I'm saying. Uh, what's this? A wood burner? Well, you don't need to be a wood burner, do you? You can be a stone detailer. What about you? What do you do? You're a beekeeper? Not anymore, sunshine. You're a stone detailer. What about you? What do you do? You're an animal trainer. Oh, interesting. Sounds like a fulfilling job, stone detailer. Not doing that. You're not burning any wood. You're not doing any gelding. You're not doing any pressing. Bang. Also, I should probably, for let's uh, commit that. And then for anybody who's actually acquired any skill in stone detailing, sort by nothing, stone detailing, we're going to deactivate their... Uh, Others, other options, other uh, other skills. Apart from, of course, the furnace operating. That's not going to be de removed. Never. Can I uh, scroll across? Yes, I can. Good. And is this the lowest guy? No, this is the lowest guy on the list. So, wait. Click on him. Yep, that's the one we just did. Good. So, that means we can now do this. Sorry. <laughs> Yet again, another little musical interlude that just ruins everybody's day. I'll try to resist. I swear it. Right, let's commit that. There we go. Oh. Took quite a while, but it's done now. Let's go back to the fortress and hopefully we will start seeing a little more activity. Uh, fortress, there we go. There we go. Are you guys going to get more stuff smoothed? We shall see. I do need to designate the other stuff to be smoothed anyway, so smooth stone. Um, we will start right here. Oh, actually quite a bit left to do there so let's just pop up here like that and there we go in fact let's remove the designation along this wall for smoothing because it's just going to confuse matters let's only smooth out the stuff that's been dug good good excellent stuff now this now these walls once they're smooth can all be used to make fortifications however let's put some doors in just to get the maximum slowdown for anyone going through our tunnel of arrows. Or, sorry, tunnel of bolts. Oh, nice. Got a nice little finishing point there when we ran out of doors. Very pleased. Very pleased indeed. Uh, trying to make a proper zoo. Uh, no, I, yeah, I've, ca I've caught up some uh, jaguars. I've got those off the elves. Got a breeding pair, and I'm keeping them here in the hallway. Oh, currently on the same square. Doing a little bit of kissing, cuddling, getting the old hooked lipstick out. Uh, Sazir Esteem Hammer wants to come here to entertain. Sure, why not? Let's just keep the bards coming in. Let's give ourselves a kind of Vegasian reputation. 
Um, I could start... Let's go down to here. Have any of these rooms that are going to be barracks fully smoothed? No, they're not. Maybe I should change the priorities so that it just gets room by room done quicker. That could be sensible. It's going to be a lot of fiddling around, though. Painting in bloody little shapes and stuff. Mm. Too bad tame rocks get attacked by your armory. army. Um, a tamed rock wouldn't be too bad. I imagine the eggs. Hmm. Mm. Speaking of which, we do need to sort our food situation out here. This is getting pretty crammed. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's the giant hamster we bought. Okay, and the giant wolverines. Koala, magpie. Okay. We need to get these wolverines trained. Um, oh, actually, before we do that, let's get rid of the zone on the surface. For all that gubbins. We don't want any animals in here anymore. Bang. Remove activity zone. There we go. Good. No longer a pasture up here. Uh, let's now go to our animal list. Excuse me. Animals. And start looking at training and slaughtering some stuff. So the turkeys and the birds that lay eggs we leave. The llama will keep. Straight. Can any of these be trained at all? Not really. Okay. So it's W for war training. Let's find what can be war trained. Um, I'm not going to actually look at what I'm looking at. I'm just waiting for the lights to light up. So stray dogs can be war trained. Bang, bang. You're getting war trained. Uh, mainly, I want to just keep my trainers going. Uh, stray jaguar. Sure, why not? Um, uh, what? Excuse me. Wolverines can't be trained. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Nonetheless, I'm going to select a trainer for them. Uh, any train. There we go. Does that mean it gets a trainer? I think it does. Let's chain the, train the bear as well. T, any trainer. Uh, where's the other wolverine? Let's get, let's get the koala trained as well. I'm sure there was a pair of wolverines. We've got one here, schnicked. Oh no, that's not the... Uh, there we go. Bang. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, the Mega Beast tag causes merry hell with the loyalty system. It's a Wolverine, they would rather bite a trainer's face off. Well, well, you know, a hard train is going to be good for training our trainers, right? That's how things work. When you do something difficult, you get better XP? Oh, yes, our vampire's locked in. Now, let's check to see he's locked in alone. Because if anyone else is locked in with him now, that's it. I'm sorry, curtains. You're getting drained. We're not rescuing you. It's too much faff. Good. Good. He's on his own. Excellent news. Right. So, what we can do now... Oh, we need to get a chair into him somehow. Well, we've got the airlock for that. Um, what I'm going to do now, because I've realised the error of my ways, the sheer folly, I'm going to come up here and we're going to close this gateway. All right. So, add a new task. Pull the lever. Do it now, and when that's done, we're going to open this one up, mine this bit out, put that little bedroom thing in for, for where we want to do it, and then dump some stuff in there for him, hopefully. What I could do is if I build a chair in there, and then we give him the ability to move furniture and whatnot, and then we remove it, and then build a new chair in his room, that should result in him picking it up and moving it, I think. Could be wrong. Could be very wrong indeed. This needs to be removed. We're not using that anymore. Boop. There we go. Uh, among wolverines, not biting your face off is a sign of disrespect. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's your idea, Sab Sabata? Make a mechanist workshop in there and have him be a lever puller. Uh, that is a good thing to do, but my kind of focus at the moment is to get him trained up to be... Uh, oh, the war drag you are is already chained. That's good. Um, what I want to do is get him to be a military force, so uh, when the time comes, every time we get a vampire, I mean at some point maybe I'll try and spread the vampirism deliberately, but for now we'll keep him locked up and training, and ideally we'll end up with uh, a super elite soldier. Oh. But I do need to get him, um, I do need to get him some uh, weapons and stuff to train with. And to be honest, another vampire partner would be nice. A oh, very nice. Honeybeards? We don't have any hives yet. Maybe we should uh, acquire some. We could build some. Certainly place them outside. It's not impossible. 
Can you have beehives underground? Do you have subterranean bees in this? Doesn't seem the craziest idea in the world. Seems possible. Oh, a reference to Honey Strokers. Oh, of course, yeah, old uh, Krug Smash is doing his uh, vampire fortress thing, isn't he? Did he? Has he got around to doing vampires yet? I'm, I'm saving them up for a binge, so I haven't actually uh, got up to the current day at the moment. Nighty night, Orosco. You have a good night. See you around. Uh, right, what are we doing here? Hmm. Kind of waiting for things to happen, basically. We've got everybody in place. It might be a good idea to start thinking about that military, but their room still isn't smoothed. Actually, if we say um, designate smooth, and then we put the priority up to one, and then we'll just make the barracks the number one priority. So, oops. Yeah, that's it. Go over there. I know we've already done the wall, but sod it. That's that. And then we go down here and we make it priority two. And this room here, like that. And then we go down here, we make this room priority three. Bang, I should have done this ages ago, shouldn't I? There we go, there's priority number three. Then we make this room here priority, everything else is priority four. Once they've done the barracks, then we can start sorting out the rest of it. There we go, unpause. Hopefully now everyone who's smoothing something else will immediately move into the number one room and get it done super quickly. And even though they're probably not doing it actually faster, it will feel faster. And areas will come online faster. Look, here they are, they're all converging. They're all getting it done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's hypnotic watching them all gather, isn't it? You get yourself some candy, Sabato. Good luck. Uh, if I'm still streaming when you're done, do let us know how it turns out. If you uh, meet too many clowns, commiserations. But if you end up being, you know, buried in candy, congratulations. Preemptive congratulations. Right, they've nearly done the barracks. Look at that. It just seems like making things done in the correct order just works. Just works. Oh, he's begun a construction. Shit, I forgot about that guy. Thank God he found all the equipment he needed. That could have been a serious problem if we'd just left him there going, I need wood. Excuse me. I need wood. Could someone give me some wood, please? Wood! Wood! Chop down a tree, please! But luckily he found what he wanted, and now he has begun his construction. No doubt a piece of spectacular jewellery, but I'm not sure exactly what it'll be. Okay, so. This area is ticking along nicely, but we'll leave it running until the actual other industrial zone has been created. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about this area. I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing about moving the magma industries. Do we just keep it here or do we wall off this corridor here and then connect it up to the other part of the fortress we've just dug? Or do we attempt to bring magma even deeper into the fortress, which has the ring of folly to it, if I if I must say something. And what the hell is this lever attached to? Huh. Oh yeah, the floodgates at the top of the volcano. <laughs> Good job I remembered that. Uh, trying to make a masterful set of armour and a weapon and about ten shields. Well, you're going to need a bit for that, but it's all good. It's all good. Hopefully he's not from Skegness. Who's from Skeg? What's going on with Skegness? I need to stop the white spiked wooden ball orders. That's what's consuming all the uh, all the materials. We've got plenty. We've got plenty. Um, oh. Well, apparently they've got to the end of the spiked wooden ball production line anyway. What else? Have we got anything made with wood? Oh, there it is. Spiked wooden ball. Um, they've made 16 out of 100. You know what? We don't need any more. Let's remove that order. Hopefully we'll get some sand and we'll be able to get our glass ball industry going. If he's from Skegness, the artifact might be shit. Possibly, possibly. I've been to Skegness. Um, no, so uh, so so. <laughs> I'm not going to besmirch it, but um, you know, maybe not the greatest place. Um, so what are we doing here? It looks like our forges are actually getting used now, but only one at a time. What, why nobody do? What the fuck are you? It's a beekeeper. For a second, I thought it was a goblin, but he's just got a grey beard that gives his face a slightly greenish look. I was confused. Sorry about that, beekeeper. Are they putting 
They're putting steel in here, and he goes straight to... Is that steel? Is he carrying steel bars? Doesn't say what he's carrying. What's his inventory? Oh, I... Steel bars? Aluminium bars. Okay. Well, oh, good old aluminium. Maybe I should cancel the orders for all the steel gear until all the steel gear we have has been melted. Otherwise, we're just going to end up... Or maybe I should just make armour out of other materials for now. That kind of makes sense. Let's do it. J M. Uh, so. Let's remove these steel orders. Get all of our steel reclaimed and in bar form. And instead, I am going to put in a new order to make uh, armour, piece of armour. Let's make breastplates. Uh, and we're going to make them out of... Fuck. Um, first of all, we're going to check what we've got. Um, stocks. Bars. So the most we have is zinc, nickel, and aluminium. None of that is good for armour, but it, we can make stuff to skill them up. So we're going to make aluminium armour and <laughs> zinc... No, aluminium armour and zinc axes, just because we want to get them making stuff. So... Oh. J and Q, aluminium. Oh, aluminium. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> aluminium and alum aluminium. Okay. Uh, what do we do? Um, can we actually make armor out of it? I don't think we can. Can we? Ah, oh, damn. That's disappointing. A bruiser reference. Mm, unfamiliar with bruiser. Uh, neither aluminium nor armor nor zinc axes are possible. Uh, well, I've got to that conclusion already, uh, but oh well. In that case, what do we make with this zinc and aluminium? Aluminium bins? Lightweight aluminium bins? Mm, pipe sections? Cages? Coins? I mean, it's not really very exciting stuff. Um, Aluminium goblets? It's not going to get the armor smithing skill up though, is it? Alright, we'll just cancel the orders for now and we'll come back and figure out something to do with the uh, the smelteries soon. We'll just let our, uh, you know, ores and whatnot stock up, our bars rather. <clears throat> no weapons grade metals. Any iron ore available in the area? Good question. Ah, Kig Rigothmil, Rig Rigothamal? Kid Rigothamal Gem Cutter has created Eshemcon, a resin opal animal trap. He offers it to the Volcano of Lions. Ooh, let me see. Uh, um, where is it? Uh, Codex. Toyax. One great animal trap. Here it is, right at the bottom. Let's have a little look. It's worth 50 fucking grand. Oh my god. This is a resin opal animal trap. All Craft's dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with oval slate cabochons, decorated with walnut wood, and encircled with bands of baguette-cut resin opals. Giant mole leather, kiwi leather, and droughter leather. This object menaces with spikes of resin opal, giant mole bone, and zinc. Lovely. Very nice. Good stuff. Let's hope uh, we get a good use out of it. Maybe I should place the animal trap out in the wild. That makes sense, doesn't it? Um, get it used rather than uh, losing it, right? Um, mind you, someone might nick it and everyone will get really upset. Oh, I didn't know that one. British comedy show that lasted for one series. Mitchell, Webb and Freeman. Freeman. Not the Freeman. Gordon Freeman. You mean Martin Freeman, right? I didn't even know he'd been in it. With some, with them. Uh, what's happening here? We've gone. We struck score. That's not what we're after. Presumably, this is an attack or um, a human caravan. Lovely. How many wagons we got? One. Huh. One wagon's a little bit disappointing. Ah, two wagons. Show me some more wagons. Come on, bring me the good shit. You're humans. You can buy my spiked wooden balls. I may well be able to buy everything you've got. Four wagons. Come on, Keith. Here's another one. Five wagons. Oh, it's going to be good. 
Is that it? One more? No, ah, no, just a just a little ox or something carrying some stuff. Oh. Nope, nope, another ox. Any more? Any more? They brought a lot of guards with them, haven't they? More beasts of burden? Holy shit, this is a significant caravan. Wow. Maybe we won't be able to buy them out. We'll have to see. Humans should bring large iron armour you could melt down. That's true. We will buy... I mean, it's presumably our spike wooden balls are going to be worth a fortune. So we should be able to buy out pretty much everything they've brought with them. Let's get the trader up into the depot. Uh, trader. And move goods to and from. So if we go to our trap components area. Where is it? Trap components. There we go. One, two, three, four. Uh, do we want to take anything else to sell? I mean, we could sell some gems. We've got our uh, cut gems, haven't we? Then again, I feel like we should really use those to make other stuff even cooler and more valuable. Um, tools, instruments, toys, crafts, powders, extracts, cheeses. We don't have that much cheese, only three barrels. Pets. No, I don't want to sell pets. Um, armor, legwear, handwear, headwear, track components, stone blocks, clay, glass. Oh, okay. Maybe I have more spike glass balls than I thought. Um, small cut gems, wood, stone, anvils, blah, 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 blah. I think we're good. This should be enough for trade. Let's let it all happen. Good. This is going to be a biggie. This is going to be a biggie. Try and get some good booze plants. That's a good idea. Hello, Sanctum Spirit Stone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. As you can see, the fortress has grown steadily. Wait a minute. Is that a jaguar kitten? No, no, we would have seen that. I'm going to let the game toddle along for a second. I'm just going to do a quick therapist trip. If anything happens, just start spamming emotes in chat so I have to look. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go over to the animals tab here. You can't see what I'm doing, of course, so it's kind of pointless me keep narrating what I'm doing. I've got two war jaguars, but no jaguar kittens. Is that what they're even called? They must be called kittens, right? Okay, hopefully they'll breed. That would be absolutely fantastic if they breed, but maybe not. Maybe they're just not interested. Although they are in the same square right now, which, you know, suggests perhaps a little bit of the old canoodling. Okay, anyone? Are we ready to trade? We are ready to trade. We've got all our items there. That's the problem. We're still unloading. That's fine. You unload. You get yourselves unloaded and we'll do some trading. We're going to trade the shit out of you. I mean, that's probably a bad way to phrase it. Maybe while I'm waiting, I could build some more farmland out here. Hmm. Hmm. Cubs. But aren't cubs for bears? Bears have cubs. Cats have kittens. And, you know, even if a jaguar is a terrifying, you know, death machine, it's still a cat. Mind you, all cats are terrifying death machines uh, to someone. Something. It's all a matter of perspective, really. Ah, good. Is this being pulled yet? Nope, that one's not being pulled yet. Pull the lever. Do it now. Good. And then we can do some more vampire barracks nonsense later on. So, what have we got going on here? There's that philosopher guy walking around. He's carrying a nest box for some reason. What are you doing there with that nest box, philosopher? You wouldn't be stealing it, would you? Because what you're doing looks a lot like stealing. You little git. What's he carrying? What's he carrying? He's got a little coating of his own vomit, which is good to see. Let's look at his inventory. This is his inventory. Trousers, dress coat, hood, shoe. Apparently he's not actually carrying a nest box. Maybe it was a little bowl to hold his sick in. That could be it. One of those little paper bowls they give you at a hospital. A little spew cup. Yeah. A jaguars have cubs, says Osmosis Jones. Uh, definition of cub, a young carnivorous mammal such as a bear, fox or lion. A young shark, a, a shark cub, oh, I didn't know that. A young person, apprentice especially, an inexperienced newspaper reporter. What? <laughs> I have never heard of a newspaper reporter being referred to as a cub. There's another fucking philosopher. Oh, we've got some lambs and llamas starving. Uh-oh. Um, let's quickly check the uh, animal screen. Uh, animals. 
gobblers, hens, llamas. Oh, actually, that's not how you do it, is it? Let's go down to the cavern layer. Um, select our grazing area and see what's going on. So these are all already in here. Llama, gobbler, dog, cat, dog, cat, dog, gorlack, war dog, war dog, goblin, goblin. That's got to be a goblin. Jaguar, troglodyte, troll, troglodyte, troglodyte, stray goose, gander, peachic, gorlack, puppy, troll, dog, drake, troglodyte. Oh my goodness. Are we going to get any? Llama. There we go. Llama. Uh, lamb. I think that's everything covered. Good. Good. Oh, look. You can search. Non-grazing. Oh, you can turn off the non... Oh. <laughs> caged. Not caged. Oh, it only shows you the... Okay, a whole new world of efficiency has just revealed itself right in front of my eyes. So hopefully that will lead to great progress. Great progress. Cat Dog was a weird show. Does anyone remember Rocco's Modern Life? Or even better, Duckman. Duckman with uh, the voice of Dweezil Zappa. So let's see if that trading can be done now. Can we trade? trade. Oh yeah! We Oh, none of our goods have been brought up here. G. Okay, these are all pending. We've just got to wait for the goods to turn up. Let's keep watching. Hopefully we'll see a nice little uh, set of bins arriving. Where are the trap components kept? That's a good point. Oh, uh, here's the first bin. There's only four or five of them coming, so it shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long at all. We'll have a fine stock of very expensive balls on display soon. I'm seeing some interesting fish and whatnot in their uh, inventory at the flashing bit in the trade depot. They appear to have a lot of wood with them. Did I ask them to bring wood? Oh god, hopefully they've not bought like wagons and wagons of wood. Not that I won't buy it, of course. It seems uh, crazy to not buy it, because we can just turn it all into spiked wooden balls and bang, we're away. It might be good to start upgrading from wooden cages, though. Certain animals can just get out of them, can't they? Is that only one bin brought through? Come on, guys, bring some more bins. What are you doing? You're taking so long. Let me check to see if anything's still... Oh, we've got two that are already here. Okay, that's the third bin. Let's let it get there. Come on. Shouldn't take this long at 65 frames. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. The plummet. 36. That's still quite reasonable. Still a speed at which you can see dwarves moving. Come on. Bring me another bin of balls. Actually, I don't think we need another bin of balls, do we? If we've got three, we've probably got like 50, 60 grand. If not more. Mm. And again, there might be other stuff in there. Oh dear. Let's have a look at the trade value. Um, wagon, wagon, trade. Uh, weapon bin? What the fuck? That's worth 16 grand. Gem bin? When did I ask them to bring a gem bin? Oh, it's because it's got glass in it. Raw crystal glass. Oh, so I could make crystal glass spike balls. Okay. We still need to wait for the rest of the stuff to turn up. However, if I go to JMQ crystal space glass. Is there a, is there a spiked wooden ball in here? Serrated crystal glass disc. Crystal glass spike, raw crystal glass, mm, vial, a spiked crystal glass ball, bang, make it a perpetual order, boom, all of our glass turns into spiked balls, next time we're going to have more trade, oh yeah, okay, bring another bin, uh, I can see one going over the traps now, here it comes, shouldn't have too much left to come, that's the last, no it's not the last bin, there's two more. Someone's carrying... Did I see someone carrying a corpse? Science. They're carrying Erdim's Curlast's corpse. Why? You need rock crystals for crystal glass. Yeah, I saw we got raw crystal glass. Oh, is that not the same thing? 
Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We'll cancel it later on if nothing gets made. Uh, has that bin made its way in? Yep. Any more bins? Let's quickly check. One more. Still 273 away. It's a weapon bin. Let's see what our current trade value is worth. Might be worth it. Um, no, clicking in the wrong place. That's not the right place. There we go. Trade. Weapon bin. Copper battle axe. Huh? Ashen balls. 16 grand bin. Yeah, there we go. Look at this one. 33 grand bin. We can definitely afford some stuff. I'll just be patient and wait for the last bin to turn up. And then we'll be good. Come on, dwarves. Bring the bin. Oh, we've got a petition available. Another entertainer. Inspar's Dreamy Cook. I've nearly mispronounced that quite rudely. But luckily, I managed to avert it. Yay. Although, it sounds like quite a striking figure. Uh, shall I put an overground farm out here? I think I should. P. No, not P. That's not, not yet. B. P. There we go. Uh, plant it here. No mud or soil for farm. It looks pretty bloody green to me. Needs soil or mud. What? Surely that's... Uh... No, it looks fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 3 by 9 is apparently the optimal size. Got bald patches no matter how we put it. It's all good though. This looks pretty nice there. There we go. And let's let that carry on. Has that last bin shown up yet? Not yet. Let's see if it's got closer. It was 270 odd away. Why couldn't I trade for a second? That was no good. 255. It's getting closer. It's on its way. Why did we suddenly have the trading disabled? Hmm. Okay. Fingers crossed whatever's stopped that gets cured. <laughs> thick throbbing, a thick throbbing dreamy cook. That's right. Exactly. With big old... Um, no. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm not going there. That is also why swear filters don't work. That's true. That's true. I don't actually have one on at the moment, but please don't test that and make me have to put one on. That would be annoying. Uh, where's that last bin? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on and bring that bin. 232. God, it's taking forever to get here. What do we do in the meantime? Something to distract us. Let's take a look at how the uh, smoothing operation's going. Ah, this isn't going too badly. Look at it. The barracks are finished. Excellent news. Okay, have we got beds to put in the barracks? Nope. Uh, do we have doors? That's a bed still. Uh, doors. There we go. Pop a door on there. Yeah, we've got doors to door off the barracks. Bang. Uh, we're probably going to need some weapon racks and armor stands as well. I reckon. Have I got any orders in for those? JM. Um, actually, thinking about it, I might actually have some in stock. Build armor stand. Uh, let's put them up against the wall. I've <laughs> got one. Weapon rack? Needs a weapon rack. Don't have any of those. Okay. Um, aluminium armor stands and weapon racks. That might get our forges used. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's have a little look. Um, Ah, this is done. Good. Okay. Um, now we can designate some more digging. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus on the new fortress. Oh, hello. We've actually um, we've actually cleared everything out. Now this is good. Once the once the smoothening has finished, we should end up with some pretty special stuff. You know what? I'm going to prioritize uh, designate smooth priority number one. We are going to smooth the dining hall first. Okay. Where's my cursor? There it is. Oh, I've lost it. There it is. Okay, and we're going to do it from here up to here, and then all the way down. There's the dining hall designated number one smoothing priority. Number two smoothing priority is going to be the throne room. Ah, yeah, exciting, eh? 
So here we go, throne room number two, smoothing priority. Bosch. Uh, and then number three, smoothing priority is going to be this entryway corridor. So three, I want this part to finally get smoothed because it seems to be taking the longest. There we go. Uh, sod it. Let's also do this bit here. Good. Okay. Hopefully our uh, smoothers will descend on the dining hall quickly and we'll be able to get all that lovely furniture in place. Having said that, do we have all that lovely furniture? I know we're pretty low on thrones. Uh, how about tables? I see a few. Not exactly an overwhelming quantity though. We could probably do with a few more tables. Let's look at the manager. Maybe I should... What have we got? Rock doors, mugs, bone crafts, decorate with bone. You know what? I'm going to leave it decorating with bone. Uh, rock blocks, blue brewing drinks, bookcases. How many of those have I got done? 19 out of 40, nearly halfway there. Rock pots we've done pretty well on. Spiked green glass balls. Actually, we've done pretty damn good on that. How have we, how have we not got so many in the trading depot then? Hmm. And then none of the spiked crystal glass balls. Okay, we'll come back and think about this after the trade. Hopefully we've given them enough time to get that final thing in place. Oh shit, can't trade anyway. Why? Why? Maybe Filthy went to get the last piece to trade. That's my hope. Because if Filthy is currently busy doing something else. I'm going to go and look at the therapist and find out what Filthy's doing. Bear with me. You guys keep watching the fortress. If you see that thing coming through. Well, I say let me know, but I'm not actually looking at chat, am I? Uh, let's sort by has nickname. There we go. Let's find Filthy. Where are you, Filthy? Filthy, 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 Filthy. There you are. Currently sleeping. Let's refresh again just to be sure. Currently drinking. Oh, right, well, okay. Hopefully that will uh, stop soon. Oh, more migrants. Shit. Okay, well, we'll check those out in a minute. Somebody remind me to go and look at who came while we we're uh, anxiously staring at the trade depot. Come on, get that last bloody thing up here. Oh, another dwarven child has been completely drained of blood. How has that happened? How? Claycree is contained. Oh, we've got another vampire. Or he drank someone a little while ago and they've only just found the body. That is equally as plausible a scenario. But we'll do a quick check. We'll do a quick check just in case. We'll do a little vampire pass just to see if we can find anybody. Where is the bin? Bring the bin. Still can't trade. Still only a little bit closer. They're going to leave before this damn bin gets here. It's a problem. It's a real problem. I've got a visiting scholar. That's nice to know. Very handy to have scholars around. All the scholing requirements of our fortress will probably be net. Be net? Be met. Cancel spike green glass ball. Yeah, I know, I know. But we're going to try and get some sand off these lads. Oh, it's taking so long. I'll tell you what, let's go up and see if we can spot the thing coming down the uh, stairs. Anywhere? Anyone carrying a bin? No. Oh my god, they're so far away! Something else to focus on, something else to focus on. Well, by now the migrant wave will, ar will have arrived, right? But is it sensible to go and look at Dwarf Therapist without actually pausing the game? Feels like madness of the highest order, to be quite honest. But, sorry, we're going to pause and look at that migrant wave. I reckon there's going to be a few people in there. Over to the Therapist. Hello. Uh, sort by, well, actually, let's read the Dwarves first. And then sort by Migration Wave. And look at the most recent arrivals go. So, how many people? Eleven. Not too bad. Three of whom can't be recruited. One is a bard. Two are children. Not too bad. Any exciting high-level skills? Mechanics. And 
that's about it. Disappointing. Let's have a look at the military skills. No kills. But we do have... Oh, no, hang on. They're going to be the one we can't actually recruit, aren't they? No. Minkok can be recruited. Oh. Very nice. I like it. Also capable of a bit of discipline, a bit of dodging, armour and shield. Very lovely. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's head back into the fortress now, because... I can't think of anything immediate to do with those. So, rip, unpause. And wait for that frigging bin to show up. Where are you? Excuse me. How rude. Who will haul the weapon bin here? Who will drag it across the fortress? Claycree also... Not Claycree, sorry. Filthy also appears to be AWOL at the moment. Not ready to trade. That's only forgivable if he's carrying the uh, the bin himself. But we know that's not the case because he's been drinking and sleeping, which are not, frankly, the ideal activities for a dwarf in my fortress. I mean, yeah, sure, drink a bit, sleep a bit. Oh, I've just noticed the cats are covered in vomit. Look. Oh, no, that's wild grass. Oh, light grass. Okay, I thought there was uh, vomit there, but no. Turns out everything's nicer than I thought. There's another corpse being hauled in. Where are all these corpses coming from? Well, well, maintaining a stable population, if not a raising population. So <clears throat> let's not worry too much about it, shall we? Let's not worry too much. Still no freaking bin. Oh, we can trade though now. Let's have a look. Nope, it's 87 distance units away. Come on. Do-do, 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 do-do. Nope, that didn't spur them along at all. All we can do is wait and hope that they don't get bored and disappear before the trade goods turn up. That would be most suboptimal. I'm hoping this bin is absolutely stuffed full of valuable things, but uh, it's a possibility it's not. Fingers crossed, though. Fingers crossed. We've already got a fair amount of value going in. I didn't place that legendary animal trap, did I? Probably should. Could be getting some interesting stuff out of that. Oh, it was 86 squares away before. Where is it now? I'm so impatient. 74? It's barely moved! Oh! Come on! Just get that last one in there. I want big money trades. Big, big money trades. That's what I want. Oh, got a petition. Uh, study? Sure. Oh, do we have a librarian? I'm not sure. That hamster guy's walking around as well. What have you been doing? Hmm. There shouldn't be any call for hamster people deep in the fortress. Hmm. Suspicion. Raised eyebrows. Not that you can see because the camera's off, but they're raised, trust me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coughing and spluttering. So... Is anybody going to actually get this bin here? I'm going to impatiently check how far away it is again. Ah, oh, there it is! There it is. Come on, get that thing in there. No wonder it's taking so long. Look how slowly he's going. Oh, you are such a slowman. Hmm, we've got a lady consort visiting again. Why do the lady consorts love this place so much, I wonder? Is there no way to make these bins faster? Put wheels on them, maybe? wheelie bins now there's an invention oh come on now that i can see him it's taken even longer let's head down to the lower levels and check how the smoothing's going not badly at all they've already made significant inroads into the dining hall that's good well i thought wheelbarrows but we do have wheelbarrows and i don't know if you can put bins in wheelbarrows that's the thing uh entertaining citizens sure why not let's do it um back up to the surface. Oops, sorry, back up to the surface. Where's the bin? Is it in? Oh, I don't see it. I think, oh, no, there he is. <laughs> there he is, lugging it slowly across the fortress. Bum, 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 bum,
Go in any there. Come on, just two more squares. One, two. Boom. We have trade. Right, here we go. Bang. What have we got here? We've got two grand in that one, six hundred in that one. Let's use page down. That's a thirty-three grand bin. There's a 16 grand bin. This should cover most of our needs. Right, so uh, I'm going to go for lead bars, pewter bars, trifle bars, gold bars, tin bars, silver bars, zinc bars. We don't want their stones. That's not interesting to me. We don't want their blocks. We can make blocks all day. Raw crystal glass? Raw green glass? Can they? Let's buy those just in case they can be used to make balls. Uh, let's buy clay. And start our uh, clay kiln going. Why not? Microcline? Don't want that. Clay. In fact, let's do a search. Q C O A Y. Lovely. Buy clay, clay loam, sandy clay. Good. Uh, clear search to trade. Uh, so let's look for sand next. Q S A N D. Sandy clay, sand pear wood. Oh, hang on. White sandbag. Here we go. Sandbag, 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 rope bead sandbag, 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 sandbag. Yeah. Nope, don't want the sand pair wood crutch. Get out of here with your crutches. Alright, only a grand's worth of trade so far. Let's keep going down now. We've find all, found all our glass making equipment. Uh, we've got tons of wood. I'm guessing we're going to see a shitload of that. We'll come back and buy some if we need it in a bit. We do need some, but not this much. Walnut wood, rope, water skins, a reindeer, a copper gawa, <clears throat> an atir, an off, and a gawa. I think we've seen the atir and the off. Let's have a look at the. I think we've seen the gawa as well, haven't we? Let's have a little peek. This is a finely crafted copper gawa. It is encrusted with round siltstone cabochons. The drums are made from copper. The stand is made from cherry wood. The heads are made from fox leather. The gawa is a mid-sized stationary percussion instrument. It consists of twelve hourglass metal drums with leather heads, which rest on a wooden stand. The musician strikes the heads. The instrument has a two and a half octave range, going from a mid-high to an extremely high pitch. Tuning is accomplished by adjusting the tension of the head. The instrument has a piercing, slicing timber. That's what I'm imagining it sounds like. Anyway, let's stop looking at these crazy instruments. I'm, I've got more important things to do. We've got to do some pragmatic trading. Peahen cage, boar cage. Boar cage may allow us to do some breeding. Hmm. Rooster cage. The last thing we want is a rooster crowing all over the place. Billy goat, sure. Reindeer bull, yeah. Rooster, no. Uh, actually, we've got some chickens, so maybe roosters make sense. We could always eat them if not. Uh, Billy goat, yak, cow, cow. Uh, Peahen. Oh, why not? Let's buy it. Uh, at the very least, we get a free cage. Uh, Billy goat. Artichoke wine, blackberry wine, llama milk, wine barrel, purple amaranth. You know what? If I'm going to do that, let's search for beer. Q B E R. There we go. Uh, and then Q wine. There we go. There we go. Done that. Uh, what else do we want? Oh, we've already found all their bars. Um, in fact, if we're going to do searching, let's look see if they've got anything made of steel. No. Iron? Ah, oh, yeah, they've got iron stuff. Toy axes, puzzle boxes. Let's find the cheap shit. Low boots? High boots? Iron anvils? Easily bought and traded. Let's buy some iron anvils. Melt those down. Um. Let's buy these gauntlets and stuff as well. How's that trade value going? Two grand? They're still only making still only costing us two grand. This is insane. Um Buckler, boot, mail shirt looks a bit expensive, and the halberd, and the well, the short sword's not too bad. Bow, flail, pick, morning star, halberd, pick, 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 pick. Oh, not that pick. That's worth a grand. Oh, and that one, two grand. Get out of here. We're not going to bust our value over on you. Okay, so that's all the iron stuff they have. That's nice. Uh, let's clear that search again and scroll down the list. Here's all the wood. 
Someone seems to be in trouble. Who's that? Buying zinc, you're trying to get some kind of monopoly. Well, you know what? I just want loads of stuff to pass through. When I haven't got valuable materials, I just want my forge operators working on stuff and making things. And the more raw material we have, I'm guessing, the better. Could be wrong, though. Ginkgo wood buckets, aquaro rib buckets, barrels. There's the iron picks, copper picks. Do we want copper and bronze? Mm. Silver scimitar. Sounds very cool. I remember scimitars being good in uh, third edition Dungeons and Dragons. Had a nice little uh, a sort of vorpal scimitar was something to be feared. Uh, vulture level robe. Clothes. We don't need to buy any clothes. We've got a clothier in the fortress now. Um, hood. Helms. Mittens. Gloves. Sandbags. Already bought those. Flower bags. Quicklime bags. Uh, let's buy some of these powders and bags. Amaranth flour, artichoke seeds, why not? Kanua flour, raspberry seeds, mm. cougar leather bag, nah. Oaken chests, asparagus seeds. I will do a search for seeds in a bit and just buy all the seeds. Uh, Camel leather bag, donkey leather bag, leather bins. Oh god, here we go. There's going to be tons of leather and cloth bins. Mind you, buying it might make sense because then we can just send our clothiers wild and get them up to really high skill levels. We already have a lot of this shit though. My god, there's so much of it they brought. An aluminium amulet, a water buffalo horn scepter, copper bolts, silver bolts, bronze bolts, copper arrows. You know what? Let's buy these bolts. Why not? How many? That many. Um. Cut stones, iron anvils, dog sweetbreads. Mm. Right, let's buy all the food. Wombat sweetbreads, grizzly bear kidneys, etc. etc. Self in mollies, uh, brown bull heads, long yam plants, alfalfa, wild carrot plants, do, 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 artichoke hearts. Garden cress leaves. My god, I've been recording for an hour and 12 minutes. Once this trade's done, I have to stop. I won't uh, stop halfway through. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've gone into the thread and yarn territory. There we go. Stop on the raspberries. Good. So anything else here? Anything else exciting? We have now got 18 grand in play, so it might make sense to check we can afford this. Let's go. Oh, well, here's the spiked wooden ball bin. 16 grand there. Boom. Trader only needs two grand to make him whole. We are selling a copper axe, but that's a uh, chump change. Oh, actually, let's just... Yeah, we'll come down here. And there we go. And right, He's making some profit. We'll come back and check him out later on. Leather backpacks. Uh, quivers. Spikes. Corkscrews. Cheese. Let's buy the cheese. It's all good food. Cheese, 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 cheese. Holy shit, they have brought a lot of cheese. Don't want any splints, we've already got those in abundance. Crutches likewise. Oh, what's going on? Why are we suddenly Oh, it's gone to the final page. Okay, that's good. Right, what have we got here? Uh Breach Knot, the definitive guide. Let's have a little look and see what this is about. This is a well-crafted leopard parchment scroll. The rollers are made from chalk. Written on the item is an essay entitled Breach Knot, the Definitive Guide authored by Pedo Sturbraved. It concerns the authoring of Prank and the Glittery Extriction, Extrication by the human Pedo Sturbraved in Breachknot in the early summer of 537. The writing gets off track from time to time, and it has a touch of melancholy. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Doesn't matter, we're buying it. We're buying all the books, by the way. Carving knife, istral head, uh, silk, forgotten beast, silk oth strings, donkey parchment scroll, worth a grand. Gotta, be have, gotta have something interesting on it, right? This is a well-crafted donkey parchment scroll. It is encrusted with finely crafted round green tourmaline cabochons and cushion pitchblend cabochons. The rollers are made from daysite. On the item is an image of banana trees in two humped camel bone. Sounds good. Um, I mean, not in terms of context. Uh, content, sorry, it seems a bit boring. But never mind. A microcline bound codex. Let's see what their codices contain. Uh, you had someone who was shaken trying to drink. Okay, I missed that. It's probably someone finding the dehydrated baby, right? This is a microcline-bound codex. 
The written portion consists of a 24-page essay entitled The History of the Village, authored by Maffal Pulliona. It concerns the authoring of Hops Ever Onward by the dwarf Maffal Pulliona in Blossom Sounds in the Midsummer of 380. The writing has a hint of viciousness to it. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Well, if only people would stop writing books about themselves, writing books, that would be great. Native platinum-bound codex, that's got to be valuable just from the, the binding. This is a well-crafted native platinum-bound codex. The written portion consists of a one-page short story entitled Sanctum and the Revolting Bunny, authored by Sol Furnace Watch. The work has no particular subject. The writing drives forward relentlessly, and it is completely serious. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Sanctum and the Revolting Bunny. Amazing. A relentless one-page short story. Incredible. Uh, Limestone-bound codex? This is a well-crafted limestone-bound codex. On the item is an image of a human in violet spessartine. The written portion consists of a 24-page short story entitled The Birth of Spell, authored by Pa Orange Inches. The work has no particular subject. The writing is stunningly self-indulgent, and it is somewhat showy. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Hops Ever Wrong will be the name of my microbrewery if I ever make one. Sounds like a good name, and I encourage you to do so. A malachite brown codex. A stone, I believe, is green. This is a malachite bound codex. The written portion consists of a one-page guide entitled Inquiries on the Mountain Halls, authored by Onol Curlbells. It concerns the fortress combat labours. The writing is fairly cheerful. It is a... Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh dear, hiccuping and burping at the same time. How crude. Yet it is a bit stiff. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Let's do that then. A horn blend bound codex. What have we got here? Horn blown. Encircled with bands of round Pericles cabochons and snail shell. Spikes of milk quartz. The written portion consists of a one-page essay entitled The Nuanced Human authored by Ushken Mightywine. It concerns the career change from lie maker to poet of the human Ushken Mightywine. Oh my god, what is it with this autobiographical madness that people just get drawn into? Stop it! This is a horn blend codex. A horn blend bound codex. On the item is an image of a round, brilliant cut gem in blue garnet. The written portion consists of a one-page essay entitled Time Spent with Nagant. Naganis Freebathed, authored by Naganis Freebathed. It concerns the authoring of Cruelty and the Songs of the Human... <laughs> Cruelty and the Songs, blah blah blah, another book written by someone about them writing a book. Very exciting, except not. Uh, seeing as we've got some money, let's just buy all these parchment sheets as well. Why not? Uh, and that is about everything I want apart from the seeds, which we'll search for now. Disappointing, to say the least. And in that case, let's also search for spawn as well. No plump helmet spawn. Oh, hang on. I just searched for seed spawn. No. Any plump helmets? No. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll just grab some wood. There we go. Apricot wood. Blah, 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 you know what, seeing as we're buying so much wood, let's also go and buy some of those uh, leather and cloth bins as well. We may as well. We've got the cash to splash, to splash, the cash to splash, so let's get it while we've got it. Cloth bin, leather bin, cloth bin, cloth bin. And you know what? I've just realised what I can do. Q-C-O-L-T-H space B-I-F. Bang. Cloth bin. Bang, <laughs> bang. My God. I'm a genius. Q, leather. Oh, no, no, don't write cloth bin, leather bin in one go. Leather bin. There we go. Buy all their cloth and leather out. Why not? Okay, so clear for trade. It's going to cost 35 grand. We're currently six grand short of that. So let's just go into here and sell some of our spiked wooden balls. Damn you. Oh, the trader's making a profit, but let's give him a little sweetener. Make him feel a little happier about that. Four grand profit, seems good. Let's trade. Are you sure you want to trade the selected goods? 
Yes. Cad seems pleased. He bloody well should be. He bloody well should be. Uh, breached the second cave layer and promptly sealed it off. Probably a good idea, Saboteur. Don't follow my example of just going down there and setting up all sorts of trade stuff. Uh, trade are no longer required. What the figgins? Trade are no longer required. Let's move the goods to and from the depot. So, uh, what? What? Oh? Oh? Ah, yes. There we go. So you, 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 you're not going there anymore. Let's just scroll down. Anything else? Nope. All good. Excellent. So, trade complete. Those of you watching the YouTube video, which has now bloated to an hour and 20 minutes, thank you very much for doing so. I'll see you next time. Bye.